most did not play in their opener last week. Tonga Vailoa on the sprint out, throws an interception on the very first play. In towards the 10-yard line and down near the five is Denzel Perryman. What a start for the Texans' defense. A lot of experience in the NFL, and he's been running around like a fresh rookie, and you see there he's not just great against run support, but he knows where to drop in his zone, and he knows how to finish the play. That's what you call a tone setter, Kevin. Mm. <laughs> Four-man Dolphins rush, and the pass too tall for Schultz. Schultz had an opening, and Stroud missed it. In San Francisco, Mike McDaniel and D'Amico Ryans, and a high snap. Tonga Vailoa just gets rid of the football, and Raheem Mostert is buried at the goal line. Type of plays that you expect to see in the preseason. You don't like it, but you expect to see it. Mostert with a flag down into the secondary and Mostert tripped up near the 20-yard line by Steven Nelson. Second and goal at the two. Again Mostert bouncing to the edge and Mostert with a Miami touchdown. We've seen enough from the offense. It's unfortunate for the Texan defense considering what they did last year. First down from midfield. Stroud off the play fake on the roll floats it with touch to the sideline. That's Noah Brown got the feet down at the 36 and a first down. And then he went a little bit deeper to the vet and Noah Brown. Well, that is some touch. Toss play Pierce. Oh, penetration into the backfield by David Long Jr., the former Titan. <laughs> but all jokes aside, a great play. You see the gap, and you see Tunsil trying to get off his original block to block him, but he was too fast through that hole. Third down and five. Four-man rush. Stroud over the middle, deflected away. He wanted to fit it into Noah Brown, but an excellent defensive play by Xavier Howard, the four-time Pro Bowler. I'll tell you what, when I see that, that, that's a great play by the defensive player. But even with the accuracy we've talked about, that ball was where it needed to be. A 35-yard field goal try for Kaimi, uh, Kaimi Fairbairn, easy for me to say, as Fairbairn puts it through. And a 7-3 lead now for Miami. Battle for the number two quarterback job in Miami continues. High snap. Thompson able to pull it down. But there's Will Anderson. And the ball's out. Thompson able to pounce on top of it. But the number three overall pick, Will Anderson, with the pressure, the sack. Look, when you talk about violence, when you talk about just making plays, he runs over the running back who's trying to block him for whatever reason. Substitutions now starting to filter in, as you might imagine, in game two of the preseason. But still penetration into the backfield. Not a substitution there. Jonathan Grenard onto the field and making an impact. Number 51, Will Anderson. Will comes after 51, 52. And we're going to hear his name a lot this season. Rookie Toho Toho playing middle linebacker now for the Texans. And a run for big yardage. And a first down. Popped it into the secondary before Eric Murray could finally make the stop and Devon a chain all the way out to the 35 and right here you see the breakdown in the middle of the defense you see Henry Toto who's had an outstanding camp the middle linebacker was getting engaged with the offensive lineman who went to the second level to block him so a conversion on third and long with the second opportunity and now first down a chain with traffic to get around and he could not back to the 34 where he is smothered by Rankins To the sideline, catch made, Cedric Wilson Jr. with a first down. Twisted out of bounds at the Texans 43. Second and seven. Thompson checks it down out of the backfield. It's Ahmed into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. I don't know if this is a breakdown or just the right call as far as the route that the running back was able to run. Steven Sims, the deep man for the Texans, four yards deep in the end zone. He'll bring it out. An opening. Sims sliding through across the 30, breaking tackles and down across the 40. Open some eyes when you're trying to make a team. You take a kickoff back like that. You break some tackles and you show aggressiveness with that. 
only one man to beat. He doesn't beat him, but that's a play that they're going to have the coaches reevaluating where he's supposed to be on this team. Former Kansas Jayhawk, he's been working as the kick returner. Eric Saubert in motion. Ahmed the carry. Ahmed hopping over tacklers and Ahmed down the sideline. He's got good speed. Can he outrace the Texans defense? Shoved out of bounds by Kadar Hallman, who was able to catch up to him down that sideline at the Texans 17. Scramper, scamper for Ahmed. And typically when you run in this situation, you're just trying to get another play under your belt and loosen up the defense so your quarterback can step back and throw. This is a chain. Nothing there. Ankle tackle from Khalil Davis. Thompson. Nobody open. Now floats it towards the end zone. Coming back to get it is Braxton Berrios. And it's a Miami touchdown. the play fake white pressure up the middle down he goes the sack for Adadio Odele he uses the techniques that he was coached up on to make the play a jolly good sack <laughs> for the native of England Mason Shrek the tight end in motion pressure up the middle Bill's able to get away and the pass in and out of the hands of Mechie incomplete Skyler Thompson cleared the protocol back out on the field throws a dart over the middle catch made and twisting across the 35 for the first down is Eric Ezukama. And one thing we've seen time and time again in this preseason game the wide receivers for the Miami Dolphins are finding the soft spot. Third and 11. Wobbler oh nice catch made in Texans territory for the first down River Craycraft. Just pluck that one out of the air to get the first at the Houston 42. Once again, I can't say enough about Skylar Thompson during this preseason game, but you never want to get too high or too low on a performance, especially by a young quarterback. Thompson, quick strike, catch made by Wilson. First down inside the Texans 20 yard line. Third and four, third and five. And then they go for it on fourth down and actually pick up the first down. And then you have to stay on the field while you're tired. Set us up the screen for Brooks. Brooks finding some running room, a stiff arm, and a touchdown for Chris Brooks, the rookie from BYU. By the Miami Dolphin offense, but the Houston Texans defense, their linebackers, defensive linemen, they have to recognize that sooner so they can defend it better. Hey, what do we have to do to beat this guy in one on one pass rush? Mills stepping around traffic, able to swing it out of the backfield to Mike Boone, and Boone with good speed down the sidelines. Another outstanding manipulation of the pocket by Davis Mills to buy time. Davis Mills is saying, do not forget about me. There's a reason why I was drafted in the third round. You start to see the athleticism, not just the fact that he has experience. And when he's playing along those horses in the middle with Malik Collins, Sheldon Rankins, Hassan Ridgeway, Rhodes Lopez, when you have that pressure up the middle, it helps the defensive ends as well. D'Angelo Ross all over that play. This is a guy that bounced around, but he's shown some flashes, and, and this is a guy that's just definitely trying to make the team. Second down and eight. Another carry, not much there. Good push up front. And again, what you see from Derek Rivers right there. Philadelphia, he's been an assistant coach the last few years, and no one at all has spent any amount of time around him is surprised by his successes. So, D'Amico Ryans has things. Fourth down and ten. Texans offense stays on the field. Mills up in the pocket. And it is caught by Johnny Johnson the third. He makes the catch. These are guys trying to make the team. Johnny Johnson doing a nice job coming down with that play to extend this series. Fourth down and ten. Mills under some heat. Chase to the edge. Throws on the run and the pass too tall for Alex Bachman. Former colleagues in San Francisco. Of course, both. At Houston, one as a player, one as an assistant. 
And the final score, Dolphins 28, Texans 3.